I work, I work from home. <laughs> So uh, usually in the morning I'll um, have a few cups of coffee and wake up. <laughs> but uh, for the Starfighter pages, uh, usually what I'll do is I'll sketch out the thumbnails for the panels in inside my sketchbook with a pencil and paper. And then I'll go into Photoshop and I'll redraw the roughs. And I'll make sure everything flows correctly and that there's spaces for where the dialogue should be and such. And when, when I think it's, it's ready to be to be completed, I'll do the final line art and I'll clean everything up. And that takes me the longest to do. That's the longest step. Uh, for me, it's much easier to do like quick sketches uh, and cleaning up my line art, which is naturally a bit messy, is um, a little tedious, but <laughs> I think in the end, uh, you know, you need clean line art. <laughs> uh, and then I'll do the flat colors, and then I'll go through and do a pass that's um, all shadows and highlights and like different colors. And usually at this stage, I'll forget like Kane's earring or Abel's scar, and then I'll be like, oh, oh, I forgot, you know. <laughs> uh, it's always these little details um, that that get me. Uh, so yeah, that's the process per, per each page. Uh, sometimes uh, if there's a lot of technical, uh, if there's a lot of technical detail in the page, like if there's a lot of ships or if there's a new environment that I have to draw, like um, the ship hangar or something, that takes me quite a while to do. Um, but if, if it's a scene that's just um, very emotional and the panels are focused on the character's features or, or an erotic scene, um, those I can do a bit quicker. <laughs> oh, it's, um, you know, I, I actually get asked this from worried fans quite a bit. <laughs> uh, so, um, I think uh, between the relationship of Abel and Cain, they're, um, I, I, I would say there is a similarity to their relationship in the biblical sense, um, but maybe not the most obvious one. I, I'm sorry, that's very cryptic. I'm not quite sure. Uh, how else to say it without um, giving away any spoilers, but, um, yeah. <laughs> very, very surprised. Um, I didn't expect any, any sort of popularity from the comic or any sort of cosplay or fan art, so I was really amazed and shocked, and it's it's still very humbling. I, I can't believe I can't believe this. <laughs> I think in the first chapter of Starfighter, um, you can see that Abel and Kane are both wearing the black suit, um, but that that wound up changing later on. I decided to make the white uniform for Abel, so to differentiate between the fighters and the navigators. Uh, and I think from the first design that I made, there's a little bit of changes in the suit, uh, but it's it's pretty much stayed uh, stayed the same. Que euh, une veste. Donc euh, sa tenue euh, est inspirée d'un vieil animé qui s'appelle euh, The Venus Source. Euh, donc en fait, euh, c'est l'un de ses animés préférés. Et quand on était plus jeune, il euh, y avait un, un endroit qui euh, louait des DVD et il n'y avait que huit animés dans euh, cette boutique, dont The Venus Source, qui est son préféré. <rire> it's, it's a little rough. Um, so when I draw the comic, I sometimes have to look back and reference things from the first chapter, and I see all of the, like, oh, this anatomy could have been better, and <laughs> all these little things that I would want to fix, but I know, I know I just need to, like, look forward and go on. <laughs> But um, I'm very happy. I think it's um, it's very nice that people say like, "Oh, you've improved so much." Like that's the most. Um, that's like a very flattering thing to hear, and I'm very I'm very happy. Super <laughs> cool. Thank you so much, friends, for having me. Thank you, uh, Event Yaoi.